did our weekly shopping at Coles at Kingston. Tom and Max are you know, back there a couple hundred metres. And we're just here at Kingston Beach. There's your beach, Jill. Across to Opossum Bay and the South Arm. The sun's gone back in the behind the clouds again. We've even got the surf life-saving people out and it's a public holiday here in Tasmania. Not sure whether it's the Queen's birthday or what. They didn't seem to know. Catching up with our directions. And down here we've got the Surf Life Savers. And it's just starting to spit with rain as we go down to Kettering and Signet. And where's the rain coming down? Came down a little bit here. That's out at the South Arm and across the Possum Bay area. I might try and visit that tomorrow. And there are lots of dogs walking along here. And joggers. Oh, Margate and Electrona. Now snug. Of fishing boats up there. There's a sailing boat down there too. Oh, what's this? There's a marina restaurant. I'd like to go to Chandlery, Oyster Bay. Well, they might have sailed up to the boat show, some of these. There's some luxury there. Little... Well, today is the day of the some races, 18, 80, 18 footers and whatever. All the, all the skiffs. The skiffs spelled skisses. The ferry is just coming in. Just parked over behind that little lighthouse. Sun's just come out. 
like Kelly's marina. Just saw a scarecrow back there hitchhiking. We'll pay money for music like that to add. Came along here in Smoky. And we went to the Discovery Centre. Campground straight across from Bruny so Island. At Gordon. At Gordon. We just passed Tom and Maxine just down on that bit of road there. They've been to the cheese factory. Oh, we just saw a science scenic lookout, and uh, the actual thing wasn't pointed to and signposted so we whizzed past it, it was down over the edge. So just a little bit past it, we stopped. Uh, there's all those uh, salmon farms out there. Signet now, the waterside woodworks. Looking for some familiarity. Uh, no, it's up there. The sun's just come out again, stopped raining. In Signet. Oh, walking, yeah, we walk down there. This is your street, Jill. We Up think. There. Well, this is definitely a cemetery on the left. There's the pine trees. This is coming down past your house a little bit further. Alright. There, that's it. Do you want to 
film it a bit? Get closer. this paddock now there's a house there and the school is down there behind the, the house now there's your school Sam it's there this is a park and playground that Jill used to bring the kids down to in Huonville beside the river. And there's the, the bridge. The ground is wet as anything. I think they've had a lot of rain. There's the pub, the Grand Hotel pub, the fighters, they're staying at the pub, they've come in from mopping up. barbecues all the way along here. Chops being cooked up. It's over the Huon River. This morning, the sun's come out. We've admired the monster vans next door and the Explorer on the uh, Toyota. On the, uh, the light ace, the blocking Caravanville goes the Derwent River. And the sun's gone morning. back behind the clouds again. This morning, this has all been resumed by the sailing club. We'll check out so what's there. the owners of the coffee so shop. Off. We're going up to the bike coffee shop. No, look at all the ducks. All out. There's a little try hard coffee. He's got coffee there, Tom. That's coffee. There's an antique shop Mary's just popped into. There's a hydroponics. Oh, well, there you go. High tech plastic. That one can Do you stay want to in the flex van. it and see whether it no. um, breaks? That's a full-on gunshot. Just looks like something from Montana. They've got deer heads on the walls and rows of 100 shotguns and rifles. I think we're down here. Whoops. It's called a shot. A shot of what? There's a restored, re recycled cemetery and I just spoke to the postie and he was delivering up and down all the steep 
driveways and the postie, he lives there. He looks after this a bit. And they're all the headstones. They have a lot of the, uh, the locals, the uh, names of the streets are named after. As, as what happened in Salamanca Place, they reclaimed the land or it became unusable and unmappable, moved them all and gave them a little brass, brass plaque. And he said one of the oldest ones is just here. There's a Charlin Street nearby. Looks like everybody who lived here was named on the brass plaque. just across the road from the cemetery and the sun's come out and there's the postman's house down there and there's the cemetery all restored by a grant part of the, um, the garden scheme Australian garden scheme hey, the postie just came home for a morning coffee probably I oh, know, lunchtime he's just ridden in down there past me with a wave and that's the very latest ABC okay, news. We're going the time lunch. is five past one. The other side, of course, on the east side of the Derwin. Oh, OK, there you go. Then he ran over a group of ducks. They're going around past Sorrel and Lauderdale following road 32, and that's, um, as you know, Mount Wellington. And there's the other bridge. There's where they built the, the Mona boats and the cats, I think. I think the, the guy on the Mona boat said there's a couple of big sheds where they um, make the boats. There's like a, a hull in there. Here is Otago, and that's a, a suburb in itself, and uh, that bridge is called the, the Bowen Bridge, back there where the catamarans are made. And there's a bus stop here, catching the town. There's Conrad Street, Conrad Drive over there. This is, this is just past Lauderdale, on the road to the Possum Bay and the wind is hard on our starboard side. Oh, here we are. A Possum Bay, three o'clock. Fish and chips. That's the, the wreck, the Otago. That's the famous author. And then we went down all the way around to Lauderdale and then with Liz Brown's suggestion South Arm blowing a gale photographed a police car out my right window starving getting shaky and here we are at Opossum Bay photographed from over here the other day I have to ID the tree. We've even got a, a mailbox here. And we'll just get some fish and chips. Well, the wind is blowing, and uh, we're desperate for a meat pie and a cup of tea. There's the beach, we'll look at that in a moment. Down the spit farm. Road. There's our Possum Bay. There's your beach shacks. And the wind blowing in across from Kingston, straight across from King 
understand. Yeah. Jelly brand. Straight. Because that sandy bay further along there in Hobart. Shed for you. I have to show that one to Francis. It's either a port lighthouse or it's a lookout in a posh home. It's pinkish. Near Howland, Howland Lane, that's a walk down to the foreshore. There's a shack non-shack next door and there's lots of PV cells on the roofs. There's Howland Lane up to a private shack. This is the end of the Opossum Bay Road. These browns suggest that we walk out across these windswept moors out there. There's your grand design at the end of the arm end, Jelly Brand, Jelly Brand Point, where you can take your dogs for a walk and look at the windswept scenery. End or John O'Groats. Well, they're going to redevelop Arm um, End with Parks and Wildlife Services, use recreation, walking trails. Pathways. Reactivated. Remnant of the Nautilus tree. And that's all in the future. Proposed possible future traffic. on a day like today, just swept across from the west there, and that's the mainland down there. You'll be able to read all this on uh, my photos on Flickr. Okay, Jelly Brown. Rarely had his convict servants punished, a fact which may well account for the extraordinary amount of work that the Jelly Brand convicts achieved. There's a prison hulk in Portsmouth. That's the bay down the left there. And that's possibly one of the ponds. He, he, they sunk a lot of ponds. Anyway, it's worth reading the, the life and toil of the convicts, the four six convicts. Wells. Six wells they sank. And dug numerous ponds. Numerous ponds they dug. Yeah, and that hasn't been used for 
a long time, is it? No. We're at the top end of Half Moon Bay up there. Do you? We all got catches. red. All got red beaks. They're oyster catches. Facing into the wind. They're just seagulls. They, don't, they haven't got black wings, have they? Richmond Caravan Park. Still blowing strong winds, and uh, we've got unpowered sites like everybody else just in this area. They're full up otherwise. There's a camp kitchen here. And the laundry's running, and there's a mini tennis court. And that's a vineyard across the road, looking uh, south down there, where we came from, uh, from Opossum Bay.